Hey everyone, so we're going to start this build with craft sticks. Now you're going to need four of them for each section of walls you build. Uh, they're going to need to be five inches long, um, and that's going to give me a four tile section. I use a one and a quarter inch grid, uh, but if you use the one inch standard grid, then you know just make them accordingly to your grid size. So however, uh, we're going to cut our craft sticks to the appropriate length that we need and then I'm gonna cut those sticks uh, lengthwise the same width as a popsicle stick um, and, and here I am building the back now you could use cardboard if you want and it would have been a lot more simpler uh, a lot more simpler is that correct a lot simpler I don't know whatever however um, you know I wanted to use the same material basically for the whole build uh, and I like the look that it gives me I like the weight that it gives me however again it would have been a lot easier if you would have just uh, used cardboard if you do use the popsicle sticks like I do uh, you're going to need 14 of them for a 5 inch wide uh, section wall section now here I'm just repairing some of the glue that came apart and it's not terribly important that these stay together it's just kind of helping me uh, build the frame around the wall. So I'm going to secure my base. The base is the long one that's uncut uh, widthwise, so it's still a one inch base. And I'm going to super glue that to the bottom. And basically, I'm just going to box in the entire frame. So it's going to be like a little picture frame made of the craft sticks that we cut down to the width of a popsicle stick. So um, make sure you allot for the gap at the top of that popsicle or, or the new craft stick that way uh, it doesn't stick up above your other pieces that would be pretty bad all right so here I started assembling and then realized that uh, I was wrong because I have to put in my my buffer for my floor so that little bottom section I'm gonna fill with EVA foam um, and that is the piece that rests below the tile or at least you know next to the tile so that's basically floor and I left it that way. That way, if you ever wanted to use this as a bookshelf uh, on a tile somewhere, like a large bookshelf, it's still got a nice pretty piece in there and it's not like an empty gap. Alright, so, again, onward. So, I just went ahead and put in the additional shelves, glued, and I made sure to sand them. Now here I'm going to make hundreds of books. Easiest way to do this is foam core. I use the same construction paper pretty much for all the books and I start brown and you see some of them have the paint splatter that I painted the books on it and this actually gives us a cool aged effect later on when it sits on our shelf so basically I am going to use that foam core it's going to be roughly the width of a popsicle stick however I cut some a little thinner some um, even thinner than that or you know narrower than that that way all the books sit at different uh, increments on my shelf. Some are flush, some sit further back, some sit forward. Uh, that way you don't want all the books to, to be the same. As you can see from that line, uh, they're all different sizes, everything varies, and we just want to use this to populate our bookshelves in a random but not chaotic kind of way. Now here I'm just using uh, the same cardboard uh, sorry, construction paper to make scrolls and basically you're just going to cut them the same width as a popsicle stick, roll them up in your finger and just lightly dab some glue on there to hold them secure so they don't open up. And again here we are just uh, putting PVA glue, uh, gluing to the shelf, book to book, that way nothing falls out. Um, and I'm not going to paint these immediately and I kind of like them how they are. Uh, I kind of like that library look and not so much like fantasy everything's red purple and green books kind of thing so here they are in action I uh, filled them with scrolls they got a few adornments in there you know some charms and some just random you know pieces just to make them interesting so see scroll works bottles uh, and anyway these could sit on the table if that's how you wanted them uh, but I'm using them for walls for my library. Thank you all for watching, and see you next craft.